All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is uh, If I Die Tonight. Uh, this is coming from the artist Tupac. Guys, we encounter a lot of songs with him kind of talking about this. It was definitely stuck on this man's mind, guys. Um, but all right, let's go ahead and check it out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the lyrics while we're uh, entering into the song, guys. A coward dies a thousand deaths. A soldier dies but once. once, once, once. <laughs> They say pussy and paper is poetry, power and pistols. Plotting on murdering motherfuckers before they get you. Picturing pitiful pump. All right, so we're definitely entering in, entering into the song with like super solid alliteration based off the P's here, guys. Uh, his delivery is wild. He's, this is high octane, guys. Um, I think we would call this smothering the beat, right? He instantly jumped into like this super hardcore delivery, guys. It's fire. All right, we have the lyrics, guys. Papers, poetry, power, and pistols. Plotting on murdering motherfuckers before they get you. Picturing pitiful punk niggas copping, please. Puffing weed as I position myself to clock G's. My enemies scatter in suicidal situations. Never to witness the wicked shit that they was facing. Pockets is packed with presidents. Pursue your riches. Evading the player, hating trick while hitting switches. Bitches is bad mouth, cause balling motherfuckers is bold. But charge them home. The game should be sold. Them sick and psychotic society, somebody saving. Addicted to drama, so even mama couldn't raise me. Even the preacher and all my teachers couldn't reach me. I run in the streets and buffing weed with my peeps. I'm ducking the cops, I hit the weed as I'm clutching my Glock. Niggas, it's hot when I hit the block. What if I die tonight? I mean, people are gonna remember you for everything you kind of just said in the first verse, bro. Right? I think so, I think so. If I die tonight. Like the beat has like an entire like vibe to it, guys. Uh, this isn't like like modern day like contemporary West Coast hip hop. This feels more like I don't know, guys. What is it like Midwest? Um, like the, what was coming out of, uh, out of the Midwest in like the um, like the early the mid early to mid nineties, guys. Oh in terms of the production, Fuck yeah. Your pistols prepare for battle past the pump. When I get to pop, the niggas is dropping, then they don't. All right, so we definitely have somewhat of a motif here, guys, with the P's. He's entering into his verses with a lot of P's. Again, solid alliteration here, guys. Polish your pistols, prepare for battle past the pump. All right, let's go. Calling the chrome and I come collect the fucking corpse. He got it by a killer. Preoccupied with being bold. Revenge is the method. We're never stepping. Keep a weapon close. Have a series of overdose over deadly notes. Jealous niggas and broke bitches equal back jails. Hit the block and fill your pocket. Right. Making crack sales. Picture perfection. Pursuing paper with a passion. Visions of prison for all the pussies that I blasted. Running with criminals, individuals with no remorse. Try to stop me. My pistol posse using deadly force. In my brain, all I can think about is pain. The police. Least know my name, a different game ain't a thing changed. I'm seeing cemetery photos of my peers, conversating like they still here. If I die tonight, I'm seeing cemetery photos of my peers. I mean, listen, bro. From what it sounds like, at least, like again, I, I wasn't, I didn't listen to him in the '90s or the or the 2000s, really. I didn't. Uh, so my entire existence of, of him is, is pretty new, right? Um, and so what I hear about him in terms of how he defines himself or depicts the people that are surrounding him is that, bro, I'm sure you've seen a lot of cemetery photos, guys. Uh, like absolutely based off of a lot of, um, you know, what he's what he sing, what he raps about here, guys. If I died enough. I see that definitely a motif, guys. Uh, we're bringing it back to the other first verse. Pray to the heaven, 357 to the sky And I hope I'm forgiven for thug living when I die I wonder if heaven got a ghetto for thug niggas A stress-free life and a spot for drug dealers Listen while practicing how to flip and be a player Overdose of a dick while drinking liquor when I lay A pistol whipping these simps for being petrified and lame Disrespecting the game, praying for punishment and pain Going insane, never die, I live eternal Who shall I fear? Don't shed a tear for me, nigga, I ain't Yeah, you did 
to be honest, for the most part, you are eternal. Um, if anything, if, if nothing else, you, at, your music absolutely is, has kept you alive in spirit at the very least. Happy here. I hope they bury me and send me to my rest. Airlines reading murder to death. My last breath. Take a look, picture a crook on his last stand. Motherfuckers don't understand if I die tonight. Nigga, if I die tonight. No fear, nigga. Never worry. I seriously wonder what it is. Those cats get fucked up. I got a knife. You know, we just can't get the knife. I get it. It's a trick. Murder, murder, murder. Murder, murder, murder. Murder, murder, murder. Guys, seriously though, um, I wonder what it is that made him kind of always speak about his own demise, guys. Like he knew, maybe, look, how about this here? Maybe he knew the life that he was living, the people that he were around. Like, no matter what was going to happen, he knew he was going to be deleted at a very young age, guys. It's unfortunate, guys. Like, um, like Tupac is an artist, along with Biggie, honestly. Like, um, I think that these two artists should have absolutely been allowed to exist on this planet, right? Um, if a lot of other people are, were, you know, they made it through the 90s, guys, doing all types of craziness, guys. I do think that they specifically, um, would have molded hip hop a lot better than the ones who made it. All right. I'm telling you seriously, but I don't think also at the same time, I'm not sure that they would have been that as big alive, right? Because Tupac and Biggie were not as big as they were when they were, until they were gone. Right. They basically have been martyred because, um, but I do think that, there would be a lot of like hell to pay if that makes any sense with the with how music has turned into just basically trash guys right it's it's filth basuda guys but all right let me know in the comments the next thing um from him i should be checking out that i have not encountered and i will get into that as soon as i possibly can all right and listen you guys all have an absolutely amazing day enjoy your day thoroughly mm -hmm.